Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video we're going to be doing a hypothetical scenario based on really beautiful models that were made by the National Geographic and also by using Universe Inbox. Today we're going to imagine what if all of the ice on Earth has melted and turned into liquid water. And to start, let's actually take a look at what we're really melting. We're mostly melting Antarctica because 98% of all of ice is stored here. And this is a huge chunk of ice. This is literally like one big ice cube. And um, here you can discover uh, the total mass to be approximately 27 million gigatons. That is a big number. And um, as I mentioned in one of the previous videos, if you were to melt this, you would get something like approximately 58 to 59 meters um, or about 220 feet of water that would then be added to the worldwide oceans and would raise the levels quite dramatically. So today we're going to be doing this and I'll show you how to do this yourself in Universe Sandbox just so you can actually see it. But first, um, check out the link I posted from National Geographic that has this really cool um, kind of, a, I guess, simulation, although technically it's just images that shows you where your city might be if this happens. In other words, is your city going to be above ground or uh, below water? And in the first image that you see here, um, this is actually kind of interesting because this used to be the Arctic. And as you can see now, if all of the ice melts, you get uh, Greenland, first of all. But you also get um, just a really cool looking ocean um, in North Canada that doesn't actually exist there yet because it's all covered in ice. And so let's begin by melting all of this ice and looking at North America first. And you can maybe locate your city here if you are, uh, are from North America. But my hometown is underwater, as I can see from here. And then you can probably notice that most of the Florida is gone as well. Interestingly, if you were to melt the Antarctican ice, you would also get this really large sea-like formation um, in the middle of South America, in the middle of Brazil. And as you can see, there's another one right here by uh, where used to be Buenos Aires in Argentina. A very big part of West Africa also gets flooded, as is a lot of North Africa, with some countries actually now missing completely, like Libya. But some countries, like the South Africa here, are um, not really being affected that much. So not everyone is going to suffer equally. Here is the new face of Western Europe, um, with pretty much most countries here, especially the Netherlands of course, getting affected quite dramatically, but interestingly, Look at what happens to Russia. The Caspian Sea expands so much that it now covers a really, really, really large area here, um, affecting several countries around it, including, of course, Kazakhstan and uh, the lower plains of Russia here that are now covered in water almost entirely. Now, this is the new face of Asia, and for the most part, I guess it kind of looks similar, but all of the major cities are actually flooded. Singapore is flooded, most of the Vietnamese cities are flooded, Hong Kong is gone, and also the place where I'm currently located, Seoul, is also partially gone as well. And ironically, one of the biggest offenders of releasing a lot of greenhouse gases, China, is majorly affected as well, with a big part of China actually being underwater now. So yeah, there's a bit of irony in that, huh? Lastly, we have Australia here with its new funky sea that will probably have equally funky name because a lot of Australian places do have really unusual names. And New Zealand here is one of the lucky ones uh, being only partially affected by this new increased level of water. And of course Antarctica gets exposed uh, and creates a new continent that will probably now become settled by someone. So, okay, let's do this again, but this time in Universe Sandbox, because I would like to create something that looks very similar and show you how you can do this yourself, just so you can explore the effects of this climate change that melts all of the ice and turns it into water. So how would we achieve the same here? Well, here you can actually use any simulation. I usually just use the solar system simulation. And um, by going to Earth, and potentially moving it a little bit closer to the sun, just so that the ice here disappears. We're going to change this to maybe 300 days orbital period. And um, we're going to also disable the climate here. We're now going to add just enough water to make Earth look very, very similar to how you saw it uh, in the National Geographic images. So here, what we need to do is go into the composition 
and add a specific number to the total mass of water. Now, right now it says it's 1.35 times 10 to the power of 21. That's, um, well, that's a lot of water. That's essentially the number you see on the screen right now. And we just have to change this a little bit, specifically by approximately 3%. So we're going to add 3% of water and change this from 1.35 to 1.39. And as soon as you do that, it should start um, kind of looking similar to what we saw previously. So let's actually take a look at uh, North America first. And here you can kind of see that Florida is gone. There is that uh, sea that we had previously. And um, South America looks just like we saw it in the National Geographic simulation. And this way you can actually explore uh, Earth in a little bit more detail and possibly even zoom in to the location you'd like to learn more about because this is relatively realistic. So there is China, the new China as I call it now. There is the Indonesian um, archipelago, Australian Sea and New Zealand. And of course our beautiful Antarctica. Although this does look a little bit different from what we saw previously. And here we even get to see what happens to India and Pakistan and it looks like Pakistan actually suffers quite dramatically, while India does lo lose a big part of it as well. Um, also, this, I believe, used to be Bangladesh, and now it's underwater. So, yeah. But I guess the most interesting part is uh, what happens to both the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea, and how they dramatically change the uh, entire region around them, with uh, most of the Eastern European countries being covered by water now. That is actually pretty dramatic. It's probably one of the more dramatic changes on the entire planet. Once again, a little bit ironic because Russia is also one of those offenders when it comes to both uh, the greenhouse gas emissions and also providing a lot of uh, fossil fuels to other countries, of course. And also not really having a lot of regulations when it comes to fossil fuels in general. So this is the new face of Earth if ice disappears. And this is how you can try this yourself as well using Universe Sandbox. Assuming, of course, you have the simulation on your computer. Um, if you don't, uh, there's a link in the description somewhere where you can actually purchase it. Um, I believe last time I checked it was about $17, $18. Uh, although they do have regular sales, so you can always wait and buy it cheaper. On that note, that's all I wanted to show you in this video. So hopefully you enjoyed this little simulation of Earth 2.0. Oh, don't know. That's technically not an upgrade. That's more of a downgrade. That's more of an Earth 0.5. Yeah, Earth that's um, not really as uh, pleasing to the eye as it used to be. And also, I'm sure that um, climate here would change so much that most humans would probably not feel comfortable living on this planet anymore. Anyway, on that note, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something else about space, sciences, or our own beautiful planet Earth. And in the comments below, let me know what would be a pretty cool name for this Australian sea that you see right here that has now been formed on this new Earth. Uh, alternatively, there's other locations that need names as well. Like, for example, what will be the name for this new thingy majiggy in China? This strange new formation in uh, Russia. And, of course, the body of water in Brazil, Argentina, and lastly right here in North America. So there's a lot of new locations that need names. If you'd like to uh, give them a name now before it happens, hopefully it never happens though, right? But anyway, name it in the comments below. On that note, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. Space out and as always, bye-bye.